All right, Cardinals fans, it doesn't look like the offseason is done for your club just yet because Dexter Fowler is on his way to the Los Angeles Angels. And so according to John Heyman at John Heyman on Twitter, he said, sources, Dexter Fowler traded to Angels and then also proceeded to say, cards get player to be named back in Fowler trade. So this looks like a salary dump. Fowler reunites with Joe Madden. And so obviously you get a player back for Dexter Fowler. I can't imagine that it's anyone of any real, um, you know, tremendous value uh, just because Dexter Fowler's recent performance hasn't really been that great, to be honest. And Fowler is also getting up there in age. I believe he's around 34, 35. And so with that being said, uh, nobody is really going to be after too many guys at that age. Of course, Nelson Cruz is the exception because he's a guy that, uh, you know, can hit dingers past 40. So, uh, yeah, that's a unique case. But Dexter Fowler is not one of those guys. Um, just talking about the trade a little bit, I think that um, this was really a salary dump like John Heyman was talking about. And really, I think that the catalyst for this trade was the Nolan Arenado trade that the Cardinals pulled off. And since the Cardinals have to take on a lot of that remaining salary, I know they got some financial help from Colorado with the 50 mil, but it, it, it's still a lot. It's still a lot. And so for a team like the Cardinals, I think getting rid of Dexter Fowler is the right move. They have some young outfielders that are looking to make their way um, to success in the major leagues. And this only gives them the opportunity to be able to come up and uh, really show themselves uh, at the major league level. So with Dexter Fowler going to Los Angeles, uh, this looks like the perfect opportunity. Obviously for the Angels fans, it's just more money on the books. Um, and, you know, I I've mentioned them in the Trevor Bauer sweepstakes before, uh, but, you know, having to take on salary doesn't really, you know, suit the Angels in terms of going after Trevor Bauer in that case. And now I don't want to spoil anything for a future video, but just touching on Trevor Bauer, it does look like there are two teams left. But overall, this seemed like a minor trade, um, whether uh, Dexter Fowler was really a piece that Cardinals fans uh, really hung on to or not, I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I, like I know the Cardinals, I know the players on the Cardinals, of course, but uh, Dexter Fowler wasn't exactly a significant piece uh, from what I know of. So Cardinals fans probably wouldn't mind uh, getting rid of him and probably Matt Carpenter as well, just because he's in the same boat getting up there in age. And so making room for those young guys is what a lot of Cardinals fans like to see, of course. And uh, having Nolan Arenado and uh, hopefully having a winning season is something that they would like to see as well. You know, I think the main objectives for the Cardinals was get younger and get better. And that's something that the Cardinals have focused on this offseason, doing a great job. And it seems like the Angels always kind of get that end of the stick where, uh, yeah, they, they're kind of stuck in this financial situation that they can't get out of. So, uh, you know, if the Angels want to contend anytime soon, I think they have to get rid of some inflated contracts. And I think it'll take some time uh, before those contracts wear off. But who says Fowler can't provide value? Maybe he can provide some value for the Angels. I mean, maybe some Angels fans like Dexter Fowler. I mean, when he was a Colorado Rocky, he did tremendous. And of course, with Chicago, he's had his up and down seasons. Uh, but, you know, as he got older, he his skills kind of diminished in the offensive department. But nevertheless, he brings a veteran presence to that Angels clubhouse. Uh, along with Mike Trout, who's been in the league, Justin Upton, and a, and a bunch of other guys as well, like Albert Pujols. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess that just adds another veteran to uh, a club that has some as well. But that's about all for this video. If you enjoyed this type of content, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos, as well as hit that notifications bell for alerts on when my newest videos come out. And also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram or check any post on there, then I will leave a link in the description below. But as always, thank you all for watching. This has been Major League Talk, and I will see you in the next video. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're not done just yet. I just wanted to throw out a little apology to you guys, uh, because I forgot to turn on my lights in the background. Usually I like to turn on my lights and uh, show you guys uh, the pretty colors, I guess. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry about that. They will be on in the next episode. I don't exactly know I forgot it, but I did. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching.